We had to store some temporary data uh, locally about the currently logged in user and everything. So for that, we have created this class. Then we will use shared preferences. So first write public static final string sp name that is shared preference name user details then write shared preferences to resolve this error hit alt enter so that shared preferences will get imported here local database l small equals actually we will uh, define it later so what this shared preference does is it allows us to share data on uh, store data on phone so now we are going to create the constructor so write public local database the constructor name should match exactly with the class name and here it will take context so whichever activity will uh, call this shared preference it will give uh, its context to this shared preference now write local database equals context dot get shared preferences and it takes two uh, parameter string and int the first one is shared preference name that is sp name and the second one is zero this is the default value now our constructor is done we will create some more methods so first method is for storing the data so write public void store data and we will take a contact object here we haven't created a um, contact class yet we will create it now so that's why this error is there we will create some more methods i'm just going to name them first and we will fill we will write the method body later so write public contact get logged in user so this is for getting the information about which user is currently logged in and it will return a contact variable the next is public void set user logged in boolean logged in so again we are going to create a temporary variable logged in which will be stored on the phone which will tell us that if the uh, user is currently logged in or not so it will be boolean variable which can take only two values true or false and the next one is public boolean get user logged in and it will return a boolean value and the last method is public void clear data so when the user logs out it will clear all, all the uh, temporary information stored on the phone about the currently logged in user because the user is the user has logged out so now we will create the contact class and then we will fill out the method bodies so create one more class name it contact it will take um, it will have four variables instance variables the so name them uh, string name email username and password since we are auto incrementing id we are not uh, mentioning it here 
now we need to create constructor so write public contact c capital and here write string name string email comma string username comma string password and write this dot name equals name similarly write this dot email equals email this dot username equals username and this dot password equals password so what it does is uh, since both the names are same name uh, and name it will have high preference for the local variables so that's why we are writing this dot name this dot name means the instance variable of the class so this name will contain the value of this name we need to create one more constructor a method can have many constructors so write public sorry a class can have many constructors so write public contact it can only have username and e, uh, password. So here, just copy these two lines and paste them here. So our contact class is done. Now we can work on the local database, the Java file. So for the first method that is store data, we are going to use shared preference editor. So like shared preferences dot editor name it sp editor equals local database dot edit so what the statement will do is it will allow us to edit the local database now write sp editor dot put string here it will take two string values so for the first one name and contact that is the um, parameter dot name so do this for all the four values spirit of put string email contact dot email sp editor put string username contact dot username sp editor dot put string password contact dot password So after editing, we have to write one more statement, write sp editor dot commit. So what this commit statement does is um, this just saves the work. Now next method is get logged in user. So here write string name equals local database dot get string and here write name and double quotes that is empty string and do this for all the four values so email username and password here also email username and password after that we have to create one uh, contact variable so write contact stored contact equals new contact and here pass 
these four variables so write name email username password and then write return since we have to return our contact object so write return stored contact which is which is the object of contact class now i'll get logged in user method is done the next method is set user logged in so here again we are going to use the editor so write shared preferences dot dot editor sp editor equals local database dot edit then we are going to edit the logged in um we are going to create one field called logged in so write sp editor dot put string logged in comma we have to pass this boolean variable logged in and then sp actually it should be put boolean because its data type is boolean and after that we have to commit it so sp editor dot commit so it will save all the work now the next method is get user logged in so here it will return a boolean value so write if local database dot get get boolean and here write logged in just the way you have written it here comma false or we are going to make it false by default and return true else return false and the last method is clear data so here write again shared preferences dot editor sp editor equals local database dot edit then sp editor dot clear and sp editor dot commit so we are clearing out all the data and then we are saying our work so this class is also done in the next part we will work on the authentication part that is server requesting part and everything and we will complete our project so i hope you understood everything this is a very complicated project for beginners so you have to go through it once or twice because it is a very big code practice it and you will get it so i hope you understood it and if you want to watch more android related tutorials then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up bye